What's going on? Just getting things put away in the garage. Sorry about the mess in here, but we're in the middle of that transition where the garage goes from summertime use to wintertime storage and use. And so things are a little, a little out of whack in here. But I just realized it's been a while since we've talked about tires and I haven't given you an update on my 29 inch terabytes that I put on and it's about time that we did that. So I've been doing some thinking and rather than me just standing in the garage and just showing you a video of me walking around the Maverick Trail jaw jacking, let's just do this a little different. Come in here with a microphone, some decent audio and rather than looking at my ugly face, I'm just going to throw some footage of this wheel and tire set in action over the top. I mean, why not? So for those of you that, that don't know, I mean, if you follow this channel, then you, then you know the history. But for those of you that don't, I put these 29 inch terabytes on back in June. So it's been five months ago. I had 27 by nine, 12 terabytes on my machine for, for years. I'd put 5,000 miles on those tires and they still had a little bit of life left. But I had a few rides coming up where it was more than likely going to be muddy, which ended up being true. And so I, I needed to get some new tires. If if I wasn't going to be playing in the mud anytime soon, I probably could have got another 500, maybe 1,000 miles out of my last set. But I, I knew I wanted to go something bigger. And when they released a 29 by 9 Tusk Terabyte, I, I knew that's what I wanted. And when I finally saw them in person on a Maverick Trail, I that was it. I knew that was the size I wanted. And I debated between the Terabytes and a few other tires, but I'd had such good luck with the Terabytes that I'd had before that there was just no doubt I was I was getting another set of Terabytes. So here we are with a 29 by 9 14. And I've put just over a thousand miles on them so far. And I've had a lot of questions, you know, on Facebook and Instagram uh, a lot of questions on videos of, of how how this set has treated me. Now, one of my biggest issues when I first put these on, one of my biggest complaints were the wheels. Now, I love the wheels. The wheels are a Sedona Sparks. They're a 14 by 7, and they claim they are a 6-1 offset wheel. And when it came right down to it and some actual measuring, they're not a true six one wheel. They're they're more like a five two offset wheel. And I went with the six one offset because I needed to stay close to stock width as I could. And I ended up being about an inch wider overall than I was with the stock twelve inch wheels and the twenty seven by nines. Now I, I did stay a nine inch tire with width. So I didn't gain any extra width from the tire. It was all just from the wheel. And it, it put me about an inch wider than before. And so I was worried about being able to get through some of the 50-inch gates down on the Paiute. And if it turned out to be an issue, I was, I was really going to be pissed. Well, that was a lot of people asked me about that. So my official answer to that is we went down to the Paiute for our usual trip the end of September. We did about 650 miles on the Paiute while we were there, and we fit through every gate that we tried to fit through. There were some that were tight, but we did fit. So with that last worry out of the way and solved, I can go back to completely happy with this setup. Now, when I when I first put them on, our, our very first trip we did with them was when we went up to Colville National Forest up in northeast washington and we rode for three days and suzanne drove for the first two of those i was riding in tj's machine so i had no idea i mounted them on the machine and i drove the machine onto the flatbed trailer and off of the flatbed trailer that was that was the only experience i had had with them but Suzanne had a few days under her belt. And as we were riding along, I was talking to her through our headset and asking her what she thought. And she told me that it feel, feels the same as it always has. She says, you you notice the increase in, in height, but she says it feels exactly the same as it always did. And I thought, well, that's interesting. And when it was finally my turn behind the wheel on day three, yeah, she was right. It felt exactly the same as it always had. Going from the 27 by 9 12s 
to the 29 by 9 14s, I only gained about six pounds of weight per corner. So it wasn't a huge deal. Now, my original from, from my stock tires and wheels to the 27912 terabytes on the stock wheels, that was a nine pound increase. And I, I, I noticed it maybe a tad back then, but not much. I didn't really lose any acceleration or anything like that. So going from the 27s to the 29s, and only gaining another six pounds, it really didn't feel any different. It didn't feel like it changed the gearing. It didn't feel like it changed the acceleration a whole lot. And honestly, I, I, I don't keep track of my zero to 60 times. I'm not big on acceleration, so I, I don't really care. I'm sure I lost some power down low. I'm sure I lost some acceleration, but I, I don't drive it that way. So I wouldn't notice. But as far as just overall handling really it did it felt exactly the same as it did with the 27s and it was it, i was pleasantly surprised now you do like she said you you really do notice that increase in height i mean it sits about an inch higher than it did on the 27s i mean maybe even a little bit more because the 27s were mostly wore out but yeah that you, you you right away you notice that increased height when you got in it and as you were driving it around and that was nice because i was clearing obstacles with the belly that other people with 27s were were rubbing that was a big bonus the, that that one inch of ground clearance really makes a pretty big difference so yeah those those were my initial impressions were feels the same as it always did drives the same as it always did sits a little bit higher. I mean, it, it was a win-win. And we found a lot of mud when we were up in Washington, and the terabytes did as well as I thought they would. Now, we didn't go through any mud bogs, any, any real thick, soupy mud, but we found plenty and the terabytes did just fine. Now, if you're if you're shopping for terabytes and you need a mud tire, the terabytes are are not a mud tire. They're not marketed as a mud tire. They don't claim to be a mud tire. So, if you're looking for a specific mud tire, then you probably ought to look somewhere else. Maybe even the Tusk Megabytes might be a little better choice, but even they aren't a full-on mud tire. And I I say it a lot. I say it often. I do not seek out mud. I don't I'm, I don't much care for mud. I don't like the cleanup after playing in the mud. So I, I don't seek it out. But when it's in the trail and you're on the trail and it's between where you are and where you're going, you got to go through it. And that type of mud and that type of thing, the terabytes have gotten me through every time. So a few weeks after we got back from Washington, we headed down to the Arapine Trail down in in north central utah and we only got two days of riding in and i did not drive the maverick trail at all i was on my atv on that trip it, you know we we found some mud there too and it the, the mud on the airplane is a little bit different it's 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 still not incredibly soupy but up in washington the mud holes had a fairly hard bottom to them and the mud holes on the airplane did not have a, a hard bottom. And we found a few places and, you know, says Suzanne was behind the wheel and she, she goes in places that I probably wouldn't go. And every, again, the test, the terabytes did, they did great. They really did. Made it through, no problem. Again, the extra ground clearance was nice, but the big worry was Paiute Trail. And I, I, like I said, I, I fit through I fit through every gate we went through some some tighter than others but we did fit and some of the new gates that you have to go up and over the extra ground clearance was nice because i didn't rub the belly quite as hard as say tj did with his yeah many times the ground clearance come into play but that was it so fitting through the gates as usual they performed fantastic on the Paiute. you know I, I there are people that don't like terabytes and maybe you maybe those people have different standards than i do i have no idea but for me like i said this is my second set of terabytes and and they've been fantastic and and i'm very happy with them i, I had always said that i would buy another set i was that happy with them and i did and at this point i probably would still buy another set but they they performed as expected on the Paiute, 650 miles no problems i have no holes, I have no leaks, no plugs. They don't even leak any air. 
My other ones were getting so old that when they'd sit in the garage for a month or so, one or two of them would start to get a little low. They'd leak a little bit of air, but these do not. These have held air since since I initially filled them up. I've been asked if the machine feels any more tippy being higher. I don't think so. It doesn't feel like it to me. Now, I did gain an inch in height, but I also gained just about an inch in width. I know the two don't quite cancel each other out, but maybe somewhat but it, it really doesn't feel any less stable than it did before. Now, I run my suspension as low as possible. I always have. My, my front is still at full soft, and my rear suspension, I think, is up two notches from full soft, just because I have so much weight back there with my cargo box and everything that's in it, and the cargo rack and chairs and table that we carry, and my spare tire. I mean, there's a lot of weight on the back of the machine, so I do have the rear up two notches just to carry that extra weight but i i i like the low and slow so i it doesn't feel it doesn't feel tippy it doesn't feel any more tippy than it ever did and and we've had enough experience now i mean we're pushing 7000 miles on this machine now so we have found that point where it feels like it's going to tip over so we're very familiar with that feeling in your gut and we kind of know where that point is and and we just try to avoid that feeling it feels great. I mean, it does. I don't. I don't know what else to say other than it. It. It feels just like it did with the twenty sevens on it, just higher. I haven't noticed any rub. There seems to be plenty of clearance between the tire and the inner fender. Now, the few people I know that have this size tire on their Maverick Trail in really crazy conditions, like when your suspension is compressed, your wheels are turned, they've noticed some rub. I have not. We have had our front wheels articulated pretty heavily and not had any rub, but I don't know. And I think those that have have, have had it happen once or twice. Nothing, nothing crazy, but they have had they've had them rub. I have not, but it sounds like I will at some point. But for what we do, what we've been doing. It seems to be a pretty dang good size. It's about as big as I think you should go on the Maverick Trail without worrying about clearance issues. 30s will fit, but 30s will rub. So it's a good balance. I think the 29s are a good balance. But that's, I don't really know what else to say. Yeah, just as a, as a slight update, there you go. I mean, I'm, I'm happy. Happy with them. Would do again. Would recommend again. And yeah, in the spring, I'll rotate them and we'll hit it again next year. But yeah, that's... That's the gist of it. I mean, they've been good to me. I've always been a, a terabyte fan, so nothing unusual there. I mean, the tires are exactly as I expected. The size has turned out great. Um, I have zero, zero regrets. I had a few there in the beginning with the width and overall and all that stuff. Thought I might have some, some issues. Turned out I really didn't. But yeah, just a quick little update on on how things are and how things are doing and how the tires are holding up, how the wheels are working out. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you out on the trails in the spring.